The outbreak of revolution in France in 1789 plunged the monarchy of Louis XVI into crisis. The king's two younger brothers fled the country in the so-called émigration. Three years later, France was at war with Austria and Prussia, and the monarchy had been overthrown. The new republic tried and guillotined the former king in January 1793. Successive revolutionary regimes then swung from terror to reaction, relying increasingly on the army and its charismatic young general, Napoleon Bonaparte. Bonaparte staged a coup d'etat in November 1799, becoming first consul of the republic. Five years later, he crowned himself Napoleon I, emperor of the French. Napoleon's France was a vast military machine, drawing Europe into more than a decade of continent-wide war. In this context, Napoleon's 18 marshals of the empire were its military superstars. They included the red-haired, recklessly brave cavalry general Michel Ney, the bravest of the brave, as he was dubbed. However, when Napoleon was defeated by a European coalition in 1814, Ney urged the emperor's abdication and switched allegiance to the returning royal family. That is, to Louis XVI's younger brother, crowned Louis XVIII. This was the so-called Restoration. Less than a year later, Napoleon escaped from exile on Elba and rallied his troops in France. Ney went to confront him, but seeing his popular support, passed over to the Emperor's camp. As a result, Ney fought for Napoleon at Waterloo. Louis XVIII and the victorious royalists thus wanted to make an example of the traitor Ney. He was tried by the Chamber of Peers in December 1815, found guilty and sentenced to death. His execution by firing squad took place against a wall outside the Luxembourg Gardens, close to his prison. According to the military penal code, his body had to lie at the execution site for 15 minutes before being removed. This is the poignant moment that so struck the artist Jérôme when he read about Ney's execution in the 1860s. This he painted. So where is the site of the execution? What is this place that we can see in the painting? Because Paris has changed dramatically since the early 19th century, we've had to piece the clues together based on evidence from eyewitness accounts, military memoirs, fictional reworkings of the scene, That's it all. You may go. and historical maps. We know that Ney was tried and condemned by the Chamber of Peers, which, in 1815, was located in the Luxembourg Palace. He was then held in a cell in the palace, parts of which had been transformed into a prison in 1793. On the morning of his execution, Ney was taken from his cell by carriage south through the Luxembourg Gardens, which had been gifted to Louis XVIII by his brother, the executed King Louis XVI. The military detail took him down the Avenue de l'Observatoire and through what remained of the Enclos des Chartreux, the walled garden of the old Carthusian monastery. Most of the monastery was demolished in the years 1796 to 1800, though parts of the wall remained. The military detail came to a halt 300 paces beyond the iron railings of the Luxembourg Gardens. The French novelist Jean Paulin tells us that just behind the wall where they stopped, there was a fashionable restaurant called La Chartreuse, the Charter House. If it weren't for the soldiers walking away from the scene, says Roulin, we might be forgiven for thinking that Jérôme had painted the aftermath of a duel between inebriated diners. In the background of the painting, we can see the dome of the Val de Grasse church. The foundation stone was laid by order of Queen Anne, the wife of Louis XIII, in 1645, on land belonging to a Benedictine convent. The church survived demolition, the fate of many religious buildings during the revolution, thanks to the nuns' tireless work caring for injured revolutionaries. The church remained a military hospital until 2016, and its striking profile still dominates the Parisian skyline. Today, the Port Royal station stands where Ney was executed. From here, you can take an express train to the northern suburbs and visit the rundown boulevard that is named after Ney. The question is, however, was Ney actually executed? Some believe his execution was faked. One soldier present at the scene observed that with a force of 12 bullets, Ney would have fallen backwards, not forwards. Others have claimed that Ney's high-placed Masonic connections helped him to escape to the United States, where he lived out his days as a schoolteacher, Peter Stuart Ney. Are there any clues in the painting to suggest that Jérôme knew of this conspiracy theory? Take a closer look and decide for yourself. <laughs>